I'm Stuart and I'm the owner of Your Car Haggler and I wanna be your car haggler. I'm a licensed auto broker, helping you save time, money, and the aggravation involved when it comes to buying a car and all of the games that come with it. These videos are all about information and education so you can be better prepared to buy a vehicle, but better yet, have me help and be your car haggler. Let's go. This is part two of the over 10 different things that all determine your lease price. To recap, and I'm gonna use my little cheat sheet here because I did not remember all of them. Credit, which will determine the money factor, which is the amount of interest that you will pay over the course of the lease. Your money down, more money down, lower payment. But it's a matter of what you are comfortable with putting down. Don't let a dealership tell you, you have to put money down. And there's a reason for that, which I just can't get into in this video. How many miles per year? More miles on your lease, the higher your payment but don't get too many miles and be careful to not get too few. The residual value, the amount of depreciation that you will pay over the course of your lease, plus money factor and other things like that acquisition fee. How long you wanna lease for. How long you wanna lease for will determine the residual value and the amount of depreciation that you'll pay over the course of the lease. The MSRP of the vehicle, the sale price of the vehicle, now, if you were to charge somebody MSRP or MSRP minus one or $2,000, there is going to be a payment difference. Don't let anybody tell you that the sale price of the vehicle or the discount in the vehicle isn't important. That is not factual. And I'll show you some of that as well, too. Take a $30,000 vehicle that has a 60% residual. You're going to pay for 40% of that. That's $12,000. But... That $30,000 vehicle that you buy for 29 or 28 or 27 because you hired me to help you, you're actually paying a smaller amount. If you take $30,000 vehicle and with that 60% residual, you're paying for $12,000. But if I save you money on that vehicle because you hired me to help you, you're actually gonna have a lower payment because you're paying less depreciation. So the MSRP and the residual are tied together. The variable and the change of and your payment comes from what you actually pay for the vehicle. Incentives. Incentives are typically considered cash down or cash down equivalent. So if there is a $500 rebate or a $2,000 dealer or lease cash that is applied towards the vehicle, that is going to lower your payment substantially. Very similar to how money down works. Every $1,000 in incentive will lower your 36 month payment approximately $30 per month. Acquisition fee. What is an acquisition fee? An acquisition fee is a fee assessed from the bank at inception. So that can vary from $600 to potentially $1,000 based on the manufacturer. That is not a fee that goes to the dealership. That is a fee that is assessed by the bank for inception or the start at the lease term. So that also gets rolled into your payment typically. So a thousand dollar acquisition fee is affecting your lease payment about $30 per month. Sales tax, dealer documentation fee, registration costs, those do all have to be paid. Even if you're taking plates off of another vehicle, you have to register them to the new car. The dealer documentation fee assessed by 99% of the dealers, I'm sure in this country. It is a fee that they legally have to charge you. I say legally because if they did not charge you that doc fee, there's, they say discrimination suits. Why didn't you charge this person the doc fee, but this person? So there are ways to get around the dock fee, such as additional discounts in the vehicle. Um, some states, the dock fee is relatively minimal, a couple hundred dollars. Some states, the dock fee is significantly higher into the four figures. Where you live actually can have a large role in what your money factor is, what the residual is. So if you were talking to a dealership in Florida and your brother in California wants the same vehicle, they may very well have very different money factors, residuals, and the price of their payment on the exact same car with the same money down could be very different. Are you trading in a vehicle? This one, you have to be 
very, very, very aware of. Let's say you're trading in a six or seven year old car that still has value. Let's take $8,000 worth of value on that vehicle. Um, that vehicle that might be owned free and clear to you has $8,000 of equity at that point. A dealership is going to one, try to hold money on your trade because it's free money to you, but we're not gonna get into that here. So let's take that $8,000. That is essentially the equivalent of say $250 worth of payment. So that's gonna lower say a $700 payment to about 450 and you're thinking, oh, I can do that. I can do that $450 without any money down. But at the end of your lease, you have nothing to show for it. So you might be going from that $450 payment to now a $750 payment. So you have to be very aware of the positive equity that you're putting into a vehicle. And same as a finance. Um, but on a finance, you're paying for 100% of the vehicle and you might be more aware of what your equity is doing to your payment on a lease because a lot of what happens on a lease is behind normal site because there's no APR that you actively see on the contract. You don't necessarily do the math. Well, I'm not paying for 100% of the car. I'm just paying for part of the car. So you really have to be aware of that equity. And I, and I just keep repeating that because that's how important it is. Negative equity. Negative equity works just like the positive equity, except a dealership is not gonna try to hold that negative equity. They might try to tell you you have more negative equity than you really do. Uh, let's say you're negative by two grand, they could easily tell you you're negative by three. Now that inflates your payment from an additional $60 a month to an additional $90 a month. I talked about incentives before, but then there's special incentives for first responders, military, thank you all for your service. But then there's things like General Motors, friends and family, supplier pricing, things like that, which is a whole nother game in itself. I've had clients that were given the ability to get supplier pricing and I talk to some dealerships and they're like, yeah, it's a set price. We can't negotiate it. It can't go down. Now, my understanding, and I, I never sold General Motors products, is that there's multiple levels of tiers and pricing, and some of them are non-negotiable. But when I have a dealership an hour and a half away from my client saying, we'll take your supplier and discount the car an extra amount for you, and then I have dealerships closer to my client saying, this is it, I'm sorry, we can't do anything, well, I send my client that hour and a half away. If you come in and I can try to tell you that you get special pricing and you can't negotiate it, well, I'm keeping money in the dealership's pocket, which is in turn keeping money in my pocket. But that's why you have me to do those things for you. Now, military, first responder, um, any sort of very special rebates, yes, our real rebates. Volkswagen, for instance, has a Volkswagen partner program that is designed to be a one price. Well, it is a rebate. Those are the 14 different things. I might even be missing little minor things that might be relative to your deal um, that, that it's impossible. I sold over 1,700 cars in six and a half years and no two deals were ever the same, even on the same car. That's why it's impossible for you to go about this on your own. You may very well think you're doing all of the research, all of the research. You still should call me. Even if I can't help you, I'm gonna tell you. And if I can't help you, I'm not gonna charge you. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Stuart and I wanna be your car haggler, no matter where you live. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, tell your best friend, tell your worst friend. No matter where you live, I can help you beat the stealership so they don't screw you.